Interventional cardiologists have four different devices to choose from. Rotational, orbital, directional, and laser. How do you decide which one to use? The uh, first three devices, they're expensive, they're not very friendly to use, and um, are not uh, commonplace in every interventional hospital. And the reason why uh, new technologies are in development is because of the fact that none of these technologies are capable to maintain the vessel open. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say not 100%, 90% of the times. The laser at the rectomy is something that, that should revolutionize uh, the interventional peripheral world. We've done eight cases and uh, uh, they're all open. Okay, this is uh, over a year already and they're open. So you don't need any stents? We don't need a stents. And that's not typical? Uh, that's not typical, no. No, it's, it's, it's different. Something happens to the plaque with, with the laser. That makes it softer and, and it's more amenable to, to a dilation process that doesn't traumatize the vessel. For instance, we apply 10, 12 atmospheres of pressure to a regular femoral vessel when we do angioplasty with a balloon. With this, I apply two, three atmospheres and the vessel pops uh, readily without any problem. And uh, what is more interesting is the fact that it remains open. Really? When you dilate the vessel with high pressures, you traumatize the vessel. You traumatize the lining of the vessel, the so-called intima. The end result is that that, uh, that may lead to a further uh, damage that in time will reocclude with the smooth muscle cells, will, will get back into it and, and begin to regenerate and eventually will close the vessel. When you have the opportunity to use this on a daily basis, how will it change your daily practice? Well, it will make it easier, okay, because you don't have to spend so much time in the cath lab, you don't have to uh, have so much radiation, not only to yourself, but the patient mm -hmm. and the staff and so forth. And can you imagine, fast forward, you also deal with the heart, so yeah. can you imagine this laser being used in other ways? We talked about this before and we thought that this could be a great type of technology for uh, occlusions of the left main coronary artery uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, the topography of the vessel, the uh, morphology of the vessel, uh, and the, uh, the uh, uh, size of the vessel. So it's, it's a remarkable technology. I think this is going to be a, a real game changer. And, uh, and the cost savings are <laughs> remarkable as well.